Geisley haven't beaten Bridlington Town this season, but last week they did manage a 4-3 win over Bridlington Trinity. Ian Noteman, whose brother plays for Bridlington Town, was in great form. Here's his second goal in the game. And Frank Worthington got on the score sheet as well, the old magic laying on another goal. Last night, Geisley wrapped up their preparations. It's the biggest week in the club's history. And although Town have beaten them twice in the league this year, all that means nothing tomorrow. It's a special moment for the Noteman brothers. Wayne, we heard from last night. As for Ian, well, he can hardly wait. It must be a dream for anyone to go play there, any footballer. That's what all the lads up here want to do, go to Wembley. Of course, Frank Worthington has played at Wembley Stadium. What sort of a steadying influence has he been on all the players? Oh, Frank's been a big influence on, every, on all of us. Steady is down on that. There's a few young lads inside. Really confidence booster is with Frank. After training, it was down to the local chippy. Where else? But guys, they do everything in style. Frank apparently ordered shark. But it's all part of the build-up for what will probably be Frank's last chance to play at Wembley Stadium. And undoubtedly the prospect of two of the keenest fought matches anywhere in the country. Frank feels a goal coming on. Action there. Tell you what, I've never seen a tie like that, Frank. That's just a little something I threw together, Harry. <laughs> I'm looking forward to tomorrow. There should be a tremendous atmosphere. Yeah, oh, tremendous, uh, tremendous atmosphere tomorrow. And uh, all the lads are geared up for it and uh, all in a great frame of mind. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, obviously, it's going to be the better team over two legs come out on top. No. Uh, but, uh, you know, obviously, we want it to be guys the football club. You've experienced Wembley, of course, as an England international. We saw a fantastic goal there. They're all good at Wembley, aren't they? But you've never played in a cup final there, have you? Never played uh, in uh, with a club team at, at Wembley. Uh, been knocked out in three semi-finals, so it's got to be four-time lucky. Yeah. You've managed to uh, quadruple the crowds, I'm told, uh, at Guy's. That, that must give you a bit of satisfaction as well, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I, I still get a tremendous kick out of playing uh, football. And, uh, you know, Guy's is a lovely little club. And, uh, you know, I've enjoyed my football since I've been there. You still fit, then? Uh, I like to look after myself. Lots of early nights these days. And... Uh, ignore the rumours and, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I play two, three games a week uh, and that just keeps me in trim. Do you know much about Bridlington? Because, you know, I think we pointed out there, they've beaten you twice in the league, although I'm not sure whether you were playing against them at the time. Um, well, I've played against them once this season and, uh, and they're a very, very good side for a non-league team. They're well organised, they play good football and uh, uh, they're always going to create problems. But uh, we're a little bit of a different proposition uh, this time out. You do realise, of course, that for these for these young lads, this is this is their biggest moment in their careers. It's a bit of a responsibility on you, isn't it? Well, yes, but I uh, I don't mind that. I enjoy that. I thrive on uh, on that type of responsibility. And uh, you know, I mean, all the lads will be fully aware that uh, we, uh, you know, two games away from Wembley, and uh, you know, it, it would be an occasion that would live with them for the rest of their lives. Your name was mentioned with a, a football club this week as well, Halifax Town. Well, that's uh, that's news to me, Harry, but. Um, you know, the, the speculation, it's, it's not for me to, uh, to say anything about. <laughs> OK, in fact, Jim McCallie had got it in the end. But uh, best of luck to, to you tomorrow. We'll have uh, full reports, of course, on that game on Look North Saturday.